Turn your Bibles to Acts. And I think we just used this as a subject that we're going to be talking about. This. Acts, the um, first chapter, brother, and then read the 6 through 8 verse. Amen. 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 And the word reads, When they therefore was come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Yes. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father has put in his own power. But ye should receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye should be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. See, this is Jesus talking to his disciples, and he's just correcting them. They got some things on their mind. They want to know, well, when we're going to be the time that you're going to restore Israel. And Jesus is explaining to them, it's not given unto you to know that, but this you need to know, that you will receive power after that the Holy Ghost come upon you. And, Amen. And we're going to use that for a subject in and, and, and our traditional gathering in churches today. We know how it go by, and I'm, I'm a firm believer in this, that the church is not preparing or send, sending out spirit-filled individuals. In other words, this, Jesus is talking about, you stay here until you endure it with power from on high. This is the power that's missing in our churches today. And I, and, yeah. I believe, and I believe it's missing for the very simple reason because we are missing the weight in Jerusalem. We are not waiting. So we are, the so-called church today is sending out people that's unprepared. They do not have the power. There's yeah. so much stuff that's going on in the midst of us. I'm not mm-hmm. talking about the, the salvation plan. I'm just talking about the power that God promised. It's a promise that God was going to endure us with power. And if we leave the home station without that power, then we are not equipped for the things that we face in the world. So I just I just believe this wholeheartedly that the time that the apostles or the disciples spent in the upper room in Jerusalem, they stayed there. They were so obedient, and they stayed there until they had power. And after they received power, they went out and they did church work. But today is something altogether different. In tradition, it shows us that all you got to do is just get up and come down and shake the pastor's hand, and he recites some words. So you are. Uh, Tell you to repeat some words, and you repeat words like a parrot. You know when you go by, and then all of a sudden you write your name in the church book, and they send you out not prepared. So, and then we look for the power. Now we yes. are missing the power. There is yes. missing the power because we didn't wait to be endured with the power yes. from on high. Now that's my that's my belief. I believe that, and I believe I can. Confirm that in scripture, and I'm going to show Amen. you all some scriptures, and I, I just want you to just ask yourself some of these questions, and I see how the Lord deal with you on these questions. Brother, turn with me to Mark. Sixteenth chapter, Mark. Fifteen through the eighteenth verse. Amen. And the word reads, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and 
is baptized should be saved. Mm -hmm. But he that believes not should be damned. And these signs should follow them that believe. Mm -hmm. In my name should they cast out devils. Mm -hmm. They should speak with new tongues. Mm -hmm. They should take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it should not hurt them. They should lay hands on the sick, and they should recover. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So um, my, my question to, to you all today, you have to answer this question yourself, is, are you included in this? Are you a believer? Because the question is, these signs should follow the believer. So are you a believer? Because people teach you today that uh, only the apostles had this gift. Only the apostles could go out and cast out devils and lay hands on the sick. But that's not what this scripture is saying. It said these signs should follow the believer. Are you a believer? Amen. Because if you're a believer in these signs, you're supposed to have this in you. But if somehow or another the enemy comes in and says, well, this was did away with. When the last apostle died, all the miracles and stuff were did away with. That's the kind of talk that's going around in the church world. But that's not scripture. If we are believers, God has ordained us with certain power. Thou Power over demonic spirits, power over sickness, power over diseases. Yeah. And we say, well, why we don't see them? That's what most of them. I talk to people all the time, and everybody's wondering, where's the power in the church? You know, why we are not seeing this? Why we are not seeing it in the church today? Are we truly be Do we truly believe that we are believers? Are we believers? Because if these signs should follow us, we shouldn't have a problem with that. Now, I'm not saying, I know for a fact the scripture tells us it's appointed once unto man to die and then the judgment. We all have an appointment date that we're going to make in spite of. It, that, was, that was founded and set in stone before the foundation of the world. We can't change that. Don't make no difference how hard we pray. We can't change that. Because God's appointed time for you, me, and everybody else, you believe we're going to keep that appointment. That's without right. doubt. Yeah. But there was gifts that was given unto men. The Bible said we possess this power in earthly vessels. It was given to us. We have power. We right. shouldn't be fearful of praying for individuals. I hear people say this all the time. I prayed for brother so-and-so and so-and-so, and, and that brother died. I prayed for sister so-and-so and so-and-so, and, so and, so, and she died. I'm not praying for anybody anymore. Okay, so are we giving the devil victory in that? Because we are commanded to do certain things. That's right. we, are, we are commanded to pray for the sick. We, we, we are commanded to cast out devils. This is part of the power that God has given. But first of all, through the eyes of faith, we've got to believe that God is true and God has ordained us with power from on high. We have to believe that. We have to believe that yeah. ourselves. Other than that, yeah. then we are hindered. We're going to be hindered in the things of God. We can only go so far and we can't go any farther. But this is talking about believers. If you labor among the believers, then these signs should follow. You and I should follow you and I. Amen. 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 Church, you all are quiet this morning. Amen. Amen. Turn, turn with me, brother, to Luke. Chapter 10, verse 1. Amen. And the word reads, After these things the Lord appointed other seventy also, and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place, whether he himself would come. Mm -hmm. 
So this goes outside the 12. This is another 70. Mm -hmm. Luke 10, 17, 17 through the 18 verse. Amen. And the word reads, And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subjected unto us through thy name. Amen. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. Behold, I give unto you powers to thread up on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And a, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Mm -hmm. So we see here there was seven that this was seven that Jesus had called out and commanded to go out. So that that theory that it was only the twelve that went out. It was only the twelve that was endured with power from on high. These these seventy here the Lord is talking about, they was casting out devils. He was laying hands on the sick. So it goes beyond that. These are these these are believers. These are believers. Yes. They have the God has anointed them to do certain work. But he's saying we don't yes. get caught up in that because we have to realize that this truly is God's power. It's not that we yes. are doing anything, it's did by the power of God. We don't have mm -hmm. no power to do anything. So if you get caught up, so Jesus was getting them straight. Don't rejoice in this. Don't rejoice because the devils are subject to you. Don't rejoice because you're seeing the sick recover. Don't rejoice because you're seeing the blind receive the sight. You're seeing don't rejoice in it. But rejoice that your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. Rejoice that you have eternal life. This is what you need to enjoy. It's only God's power here is at work. We don't have any power. It's God's power. Mm -hmm. that work. That's why we can't be fearful of doing what we have been called to do, the work that God has called and appointed us to do. We can't be fearful yeah. of laying our hands on individuals because it's not us that do it. We do mm -hmm. it out of obedience. God has instructed yeah. us to do it, and we do it. Out of obedience. Amen. Uh, and, and it's not one of them kind of things. It's not one of them kind of eye gaze thing that I'm looking to see. We are not the Jews. We are not requiring a sign. We are being obedient to the word of God. If yeah. we yeah. ever see what's going on in the realm that is above our head, we That's can't right. see it because the majority of the time we're looking at it out of natural eyes. we got to see it through our eyes right. There is Amen. stuff that's taking place in the heavens is that we don't know about. Amen. And, and our responsibility is to be obedient to thus said the Lord. That's, yeah. the, that's the responsibility that's been given unto us. Whether we yeah. see it or not, we still have to that's do it. That's right. You, you know, Amen. We're we, we in a society now that everything has to be seen. We are not going to be able to do this. So, uh, so we are caught up because if we, the people of God, don't learn, how to live by faith, then the laboratory and the so-called uh, scholars of this world that goes in and, and they got all the answers to everything, all our so-called worldly problems, you know, they solving in the laboratory. So they come yeah. out. And we don't have no way of knowing what they are feeding into our intellect, none mm -hmm. whatsoever. But we know for a fact that we're called to be people of God. I have to accept, well, the world accept whatever they do. So, well, we did the blood work, and this is what we found. Or we did that. This is what we found. But God didn't call us to live like that. That's not the calling that is yeah. on our life. We Amen. are to live by faith. We take the word of God yeah. and march on. We march yeah. on yeah. in spite of what's said, in, in right. spite of what the so-called professional people that's These right. people are geared up in this world out of greed and out of selfishness. That's what this yeah. world is about. All mm -hmm. that's in the world, lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, and pride of life. But we are called from among them. We are called yes. to live by faith. Mm -hmm. God, yeah. I believe it. I Amen. can see, Lord, when these, when these 
doors is going to open up and I'll be able to walk out of here. I can't see it, Lord. I can't see it. But by faith, I believe believe that you're moving on my behalf. By faith, Lord. And I will not be denied. I will Mm -hmm. walk in the promises. I will rejoice in the very truth of your word. Whether I see Mm -hmm. it, whether I touch it, whether I smell it, or whether I feel it. (laughs) I will Amen. rejoice in the very truth of your word. And Amen. that's what we are called to do. The jail yes. shall live by faith. Faith yes. is the way of life for God's people. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yes, God. First Corinthians. Yes, Lord. Oh, so you're so, so faithful. Thank you. Four, four and five. Yes, Lord. And the word reads, Therefore, there is nothing before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring the light and heated things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the heart and then shall every man have praise of God. Brother Tommy, what did, what did you read from me? First Corinthians 4 and 5. First Corinthians 4 and 5. Yes, sir. Read me Second Corinthians. Okay. Chapter 4. Yes, Lord. Three through the ninth verse. Three through the ninth. Mm-hmm. Second Corinthians four. Three through the ninth. Mm-hmm. And the word reads, "But if our gospel be hidden, it is hidden to them that are lost." Mm-hmm. Yeah. In whom the God of this world has blinded the mind of them. Who should believe not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, mm-hmm. should shine mm-hmm. unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus, Amen. the Lord, mm-hmm. and ourselves, your servants. For Jesus' sake. Mm -hmm. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness Mm -hmm. has shined in our hearts Mm -hmm. to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But we have this treasure in earth vessels that the exceedingly of the power may be of God and not of us. Mm -hmm. We are troubled on every side, yet not disgraced. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Mm -hmm. Persecuted, Mm -hmm. but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, so as you said, there is going to be some things that we're going to have to deal with. But the light of the, the light of God has shined in our heart. We carry that power in earthly vessels. We know for a fact, regardless of what attack what the attack is, we know for a fact that God has always already made an escape for us. We know Amen. that for a very simple reason because His power dwells in us. We yeah. have the power. We have that overcoming power on the inside of us. The situations yeah. and circumstances is not moving. It's not do not move us for the very simple reason yeah. because we got the truth of God's word on the inside. Of you. We have the power of God on the inside. Of you. It's not of ourselves. So we don't want to get hung up in that. If they don't have anything to do with us, it has something to do with what God has did for us. God's anointing flows on the inside of us. We yeah. have the power of God on the inside of us. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead dwells yeah. in us. 
in earthly vessels, these fleshly bodies, his temple of God's Holy Spirit, it's the temple of God's Holy Spirit. That Amen. power is within us as being yeah. citizens of his kingdom, mm -hmm. yeah. as being servants of the Most High. God has yeah. anointed us and appointed us to do certain things. God has given us power and authority for everything on this side. And we have to receive yeah. that by faith. We don't live yeah. by fear. We don't live by fear. Amen. When that comes out of man's mouth, a man might speak anything out of his mouth. But we are governed by the word of God. Yeah. God, Amen. I believe you dwell in me. God, I believe your power. I believe your anointing in me. I believe the power to change my situation is on the inside of me. Yes. God, and only God. Yes. Amen. God Amen. always, always make provisions for his people. Yes. And the power. Amen. 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 God has a place. Yes. This power mm -hmm. in earthly mm -hmm. vessels. Yes. In the form of the Holy Spirit. That power that we receive from on high dwells on the inside of the yeah. believer. Yeah. And that we have to believe by faith. Mm -hmm. We are not powerless. We have something. The same power to overcome death in the grave. It's on the inside. Mm -hmm. That's right. We don't live by fear. Amen. We don't live by words that might come out of the individual's mouth. Mm -hmm. We live by the faith of God. Amen. The world is in Amen. Darkness. The world is in darkness. But the peoples of God see by the eyes of faith. Mm. That's what we call to see by. It's not, it don't have anything to do with what it looked like. Mm. It has something to do with God watching over his word to perform it. Hey, Amen. The Bible said God changes not. He's the same yesterday, mm -hmm. today, and forevermore. Yeah, he changes yeah. not. He's the same God. Yes, so for all you. those individuals that, that speak those words out there, but this happened yeah. at a certain appointed times. That's done and over with. God changes mm -hmm. not. God said his Thank power dwells in earthly vessels. Yeah. And you and I, we have to believe that by faith. Yes. I'm not fearful, yeah. Lord. That's what we have to say. Lord, I'm not fearful. I'm not fearful yeah. for laying my hands and praying for brothers and sisters. I don't care. Uh, Even I, if I see it manifest, yeah. that's a bonus. Yeah. But I do it anyway because I'm instructed to do it. Amen. I, I, I look at the, the, the situations in, uh, in the hardship, and uh, there's some things that I have prayed about, and I hadn't seen them manifest as an individual. Um, uh, my wife's situation, you know, I have prayed about her eyes, and I believe God for it. I had not seen it manifest. But do this supposed to, do I supposed to become stagnant? Mm. And say, well, no, Lord, I'm not going to pray for nobody else because you hadn't solved my problem yet. I don't believe mm. this and did nothing happen. I could do that. But then again, people's of faith don't speak like that. We yeah. should not. We do not see. We look through a glass dimly. We don't see the full picture, but in fullness of time, we'll see like he see. Yeah. I don't. I don't know everything. I don't know everything. Don't claim to know everything. You know. Don't claim to have no power outside of God. I know that I'm a weak, fragile man, but with God, yes, I am a world overcomer. Amen. And that's how we have to see ourselves. Yeah. We don't look. We don't look at situations. We don't deal with circumstances. We don't deal with the so-called professional people that then labor themselves to govern over us, or through a politics or whatever it's through. You know, 
And we're going to keep you oppressed, keep you in the dark, keep you in the dark. But God is that light that does shine into our hearts. Yeah. Right. We can see. We are not blind. We can see. We are people of God. Yeah. And we walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We agree. We agree. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Yes. We, Thank you. Are, are, are we those people? Are we the believers? Yeah. Are we Amen. Those? Yeah. Amen. 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 Brother, let me give you a time with Amen. Turn with me to James. Where? Fifth chapter, James. Amen. Amen. Thirteen through the fifteenth verse. Amen. And the word reads: Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Mm-hmm. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. Is any sick among you, let him call for the elder of the church. Mm-hmm. And let him pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And the prayer of faith should save the sick, mm-hmm. and the Lord should raise him up. Mm-hmm. And if he have committed sin, they shall be forgiven him. God has always made provisions for his people. No, this, Amen. This, James, this is talking to the church. So, yeah. You know, if it be if it, if there be any sick among you, God has already made provisions for. Them. Yeah, right. But it, it's, it's always about faith. It, it, it didn't say get up and call the paramedics. It didn't say call nine one one. These are the instructions that's given to the church. Yeah. So if we, if we can receive that by faith, we can have the results of that. Yes, but right. We have to put ourselves in a position. Well, we believe the word of God in spite of. Yeah, it, it, that's it, right. It, it don't make any difference. You know, that's right. Uh, the 91st song can say, well, you know, no prayer come to your door, no disease, no pestilence, none of this come, come by you, but... Six o'clock news come up and they tell you something entirely different. So right. I just I just made up in my mind that I'm going to believe God. Amen. In in spite of what take place, just That's because right. you know those folks that they pull out the hospital room and put those tags on their toes and stuff and. Right on those tags, the date and everything, what they died of, what was their problem, this, that, and other. I'm a firm believer that if God said that no prayer comes toward my door, to my door, I believe that. I don't care mm-hmm. what tag that's put on that you might put on the toe. It don't make mm-hmm. the word of God a lie. The mm-hmm. word of that's God right. is true and it's going to be true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whether we ever believe yes. it or not, the word of God is true. They have scientists that's over there and over there in the Red Sea, and they're all up under the water. They got divers down, and they're up under the water, and they're taking out material and stuff that they bring into the laboratory, and they come back to confirm that the children of the Israel crossed over there so many thousands of years ago that they crossed over there by something material stuff that they put up. We cannot use science to prove the Word of God is a lie. The word of God is going to be true whether we ever learn to accept it and to live by it or not. Yeah. It's going to be true. Yes. Yeah. It's, not, it's not based on facts. It's based on truth. And That's right. And believers hard have to come down to a point where we believe your word, God. I take your word yeah. for being true. I don't understand right. it all, but, Lord, I believe your word. Yeah. I believe yeah. your word is true. I believe that you want yes. your word to perform. Nothing on yes. this side can change your word. Yes. It's true, yes. and it's going to maintain truth. Yes. There's no device that man has made going to prove the word of God a lie. 
That's right. That's we right. Got, they said, we got gopher wood that comes from the yeah. earth. We done studied it. We know for a fact. Science and proved that this is a portion of it. No. That's through man's a failed worldly experience. It don't have anything to yeah. do with God. We are called yeah. to live by faith. We are called to yeah. live by faith. I believe that you commanded Noah to build a heart. I believe that it rested on Mount Everett. I believe that. I believe that by faith. Yeah. Yes. I believe it by faith. Not because some scientists come back with data that he got in the laboratory. No, I believe it. I believe the Bible. It's the ordained, inspired word of God. That's where I am. I yeah. don't see all the results that I read and I study about in the Bible. I don't change this word because I don't see it. I still believe it's the ordained word of God. I believe that whole Amen. My mind is made up. I believe it with everything that's in me. Amen. I can see myself as having limited understanding. I can <coughs> see the word as being wrong. Okay. In fact, to be okay. truthful, my mind is made up. My heart is right with God. I cannot accept anything other than that. I, yes, have, to die. I have to die in my faith. I, yeah. I'm not looking for false evidence appearing to be yeah. wrong. I'm not looking for that. My faith yeah. is in the Word of God. Amen. And in every day of my life, I have chose to serve Him. And I don't understand it all, but I do know for a fact. What I do understand, what's been revealed to me is the very truth. And that's how this Word is slowly, slowly declining. Mm. But it's slowly, slowly being unraveled. You can't put anything on this. Of this world system, your faith in, in your faith and my faith and our confidence have to be in the true and living God, and that's what yes, God right. called us to be. He called us to be people. Yes, yeah. yes, Lord. Ain't that good news? Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.